Hi all, I am Manjita and today we will learn on how to improve vocabulary. It's very important and I know it's on top of your mind because you've been trying to learn English or if you know English and you're trying to master it and become more proficient in it, right? Well, I have very simple techniques which I will help you. This helped me personally, so it's a tried and tested method. Let's quickly jump on to how to improve your vocabulary. Very first thing, vocabulary means new words which you have to learn in the English language portion, right? So how do we come across these new words? So simple things when you listen to something. Now listening could be in any form. It could be you listen to a TV channel, you listen to a radio, you listen to a speech which is live. It could be various forms of listening and you catch hold of certain words which the speaker has used, right? Well, where else can we find new words which we are not aware of? Hmm, reading. Yes, you read a lot of stuff around. It could be a novel, it could be stories, it could be articles. It could also be um, reading newspapers, reading books or reading matter on internet, right? So there are different words which are used which we are not aware of but we would definitely like to use them because we are here to improve our vocabulary. Now an important point over here is it's better to listen to or to read interesting stuff because that will get our interest glued onto it. We would want to know more, we would want to learn more, right? Now when listening and reading portion is sorted we know from where we can find the new words what is the next step we need to maintain a log or a diary or it could be a word note on your laptop computer phone or a physical diary or a notebook right now when we've come across an interesting word and we want to use it we quickly write it down firstly in whatever medium you want to record it you then write down the meaning of it. Now, a best way to figure out is what I did. If I came across a new word and I wanted to use it, I would Google it. You and I are the lucky generation, I would say, where we can definitely use internet. It's the most important and handy stuff we have at hand. So quickly write the word. You need to get the spelling correct. Right? So write the word on Google and there you get the meaning of it with also the pronunciation. I have done a video on how to pronounce correctly. Please have a look at it. I will link it somewhere around. And so you need to get the pronunciation correct. How to pronounce that word. Now Google gives you that. You can hear it and write the pronunciation. Now how would you know how to write the pronunciation? Whichever native language you speak, you can break that English word and write it into your particular language which will help you read that word in the correct pronunciation form. Now for example, the other language which I am proficient at apart from English is Hindi which is my native language. So if I have to write a particular word, I would write it in Hindi, it, how it is pronounced so that after two or three days or one week when I revisit that word I know how to pronounce it because I have written it in my native language right now once you've written that down and we know the meaning of it we will now try to make it more interesting to learn it how do we do that well let me see hmm, okay so this is a new word which I learned many years back of course but yes it's it's pretty much used in today's terms as well and that is repercussion repercussion all right it means an unpleasant consequence it's it's basically not a very happy consequence of it right you do something wrong or or the result of something which an act of yours which you've done you have to bear the brunt of it right so repercussion now I know that it means an unpleasant consequence so I would try to make a word make this word uh, a very uh, interesting one by forming an interesting sentence around it so let's say my naughty friends are around and my relatives or my siblings or whoever's around 
and so I'm gonna say that if you wear that shirt of mine again you would have to bear the grave repercussions okay so it's funny you laugh at it but then you have used this term you have made a wonderful sentence out of it you know when to use it next and then in turn your friend will make another sentence on repercussions right so it's, it's a fun way to remember so now you know this word repercussion and you can use it well with your friends or with your siblings or anyone who knows that you're learning and will help you to, to learn better right so this is how the first tip which I told you right now is after reading and listening and writing down in the notebook or anywhere which you want to note down is use that word in a very very interesting way so you will remember the meaning okay now the next tip which I want to tell you which helped me a lot is break down a big word into smaller words um, let me give you an interesting word called um, assassination now assassination means the murder or it's basically used for uh, in a political way or or a way where you have to it's like an assassination of XYZ president or prime minister or or someone like that you know so assassination so now if I have to remember the word assassination or the spelling of it what would I do I would quickly break it down something which makes me remember now your way of remembering could be different but this is my way of remembering and if you like it please take it and try it yourself so I will break the word assassination into multiple small words which will make meaning out of it right now assassination so the first three letters is ASS -S, which is ass the next three letter is ASS -S, which is ass again and then there's an I and then there's the word nation so it's ass ass I nation okay now I quickly make a picture out of it so there is an ass which is like I think a synonymous donkey or that kind of an animal so it's a, it's, a, it's part of a horse family so there's an ass and there's another ass on top of it and then there's I which is me riding that and I'm holding the whole nation on top of me so it's ass ass I nation assassination so that's a very funny way but it's pretty effective because I have learned multiple words which are longer in size and the, the length is pretty much for me to remember the spellings and this is how I break it and I remember it and then I quickly use it into a sentence and I write it down and that's how I remember because if we have invested time and effort in making a sentence out of it trust me we will remember it much better right well the next tip is whenever you hear a word try to figure out a synonym of, the, of that word now what's a synonym a synonym is the same or similar meaning and what's an antonym it's an opposite meaning right so if you hear any word you quickly figure out what's a synonym of it what's the same meaning of it all right for example let's take the word diligent now diligent means hard working hard working is a synonym of being diligent all right for example you can say Margaret is a diligent individual or she is a very hard-working individual so now from diligent we figured out hard-working as well so now we know two words which mean the same thing and we can use them interchangeably in our sentences so we've increased our vocabulary now a quick way is to figure out what is the antonym of diligent which means lazy okay so Margaret is a very lazy girl she is not at all diligent in whatever she does so wow we've used the word lazy we've used the word diligent so we've used multiple words because we know the meaning because lazy means opposite of diligent and diligent means hard working so if you take any word you quickly figure out synonym of it so you will know two words right and you quickly figure out antonym of it so you will know three words like this and you will know how to use it because one would mean the same and the other would mean just the opposite so there you go you can increase your word bank by this right well guys I think it's 
very simple to increase your vocabulary. All you need to do is make it much more fun, interesting, absorbing. And my fun out would be just look for five new words in a day. Practice this whole experience of mine. That is, you write it down, figure out how to speak it, write the pronunciation in your own native language so that you know how to pronounce it, Google the meaning, the synonym, the antonym, make sentences out of both, make your own creative sentences so that you remember and if it's a big word, break it down into smaller words, make a picture out of it so that you can remember it, right? It's pretty simple guys, English is fun, trust me, all you need to do is help each other and share your experiences, like this video if you found it even this much useful, comment and let me know if it has helped you or your friends or your colleagues or your relatives or not and do do have a look at another video of mine which is a tree trunk approach it will help you further how to branch it out how to get an idea into action how to think much beyond a particular point and it will definitely help you out let me know how your experience is and bye happy learning